Okay, hey guys, welcome to another video. All right, we are here for my year 2017 for the month of August. It's my week to teach, and as per usual, I'm going to start my week off by getting my August sections ready. To do that, I have to take June and July out of my traveler's notebook. So let's do that, and I'll give you a quick flip through of June, of July, I mean. Uh, maybe both of them. And then I'll get them in the binder cover. And then we'll be back. Here, this is June. And then we'll be back with the August setup. So this is the June. I really, not only did I document, you know, the things that happened in my life during that month, places I went, people I saw, as I've done throughout the whole year, but I really am loving the way these signatures are looking. They're, they're unique. They're interesting. This is the little uh, book, extra bonus like book that I did for my niece and her girlfriend's wedding. Love the way it turned out, by the way. If you guys want to see a tutorial on doing these kind of sea themed doodles, let me know. Maybe we'll do it as a bonus. But so, so, so cute. And then this is the rest of the month. So this is going to go into the storage binder in with June, uh, July. Had my mammogram. Results were clear. Woohoo! I got a little postcard and a note from Mr. Mike Deacon. So I saved that. My husband and I are doing 23andMe. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I don't know. And we went and saw the Book of Mormon. So I'm going to get these put into the storage binder. And then I'm going to get the August signature out and figure out what I want to do with it. And I'll be right back.
Okay. So you just saw a little speed through of me um, decorating another storage binder to hold July, August, and September. It's only got July in it right now. And um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And using up some just bits and pieces I have laying around that I've been meaning to use for a long time. I put August and September in my traveler's notebook. And um, these are how they were when I first created them with a little bit of decoration, but not too much. Um, I don't want to start with a blank page, but at the same time, I don't want to put too much because I want to leave it open to interpretation for that month as the year goes on. And I made all of these at the end of last year, 2016. There is a video for that. I keep getting asked about how I made these. There's a video for that. <laughs> if you go back to the January videos or there's a get, getting started video link list or something like that, go back there. <laughs> All right, so this month for August, our theme is hot and cold and there's a lot of ways you could take that. Let's talk about them for a minute. So you could take it as a temperature thing. Is it hot right now where you are? Or are you in summer like we are here in California or is it cold? Maybe you're in the middle of winter if you're like in somewhere like Australia. Um, is um, your life hot or cold? What do I mean by that? So are you just going through life like sort of frozen and cold and not really excited about anything? Or are you just really excited about life and living and, and the whole process? Are you hot or cold about your artwork? Um, are you familiar with painting using hot colors or cold colors? There's a lot of different ways you can interpret this prompt this month and I want you to think about them as the month goes on and use some of those in your journal. I have some ideas about how I want to use them in my journal for this month and as I film my videos for the week I will probably come up with more ideas. I, my process is very organic so I usually leave it fairly open for interpretation as the week goes on. So I'm going to decorate my August section and we'll see where I go with that. I need to put my book list in there. This one might be kind of big, but I want to try to use it. And um, I will be back when I get that done. Okay. Hey guys, I am trying to film this before the tile guy gets here to start on my bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have already taken my book list um, for our monthly book review, and I've um, it was printed on just plain computer paper, so I've gone ahead and glued it and used some decorative um, washi tape sticker things that I had to attach it to a tag, and I'm going to tape it into my August section with some of this decorative masking tape. I've this is by Scotch Brand. I've been asked a kind of a lot recently where I get this at. I get it at usually Staples, but they also have it at Target um, by where they have the other masking tapes, sometimes in the hardware department, sometimes in the office supply department. I'm going to leave like about a sixteenth of an inch between the tag and the edge of the paper to give it you know, room to fold. And I'm going to tape it in, and then I'm going to put another piece of tape here on the back side. I apologize for things beeping. Okay. So that's in. I am going to use some of my stickers to decorate my August section some more. I am going to go ahead and write down at least one day I know for August that's important to me. It's my birthday. <laughs> so. Another year on the right side of the dirt, as my dad would say, so it's all good. So I'm gonna use a combination of some of these stickers that I have, sticker sheets I'm gonna try to use up, and actually some new stickers that I just created out of journal pages and some background papers um, of mine and th this sticker sheet download 
um, is available from my Etsy shop. It, it, it's formatted to print on these Avery sticker sheets, but you could just print it on computer paper and then um, cut and paste them in. I, I printed it on the Avery sticker sheets. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to fast forward through the process and I'll be right back. I'm going to do it as I'm doing it. I'm going to keep the prompt hot and cold in my mind. For me, August is the hottest month of the year generally where I live. And always it's my birthday month. It's like the hottest time of the year. It just sucks, but there you have it. So I'm going to keep the warm summer sun in my mind and use things that um, spark that in my imagination and remind me of um, warm summer months um, and use those colors and or symbols in my decorations in my month for August. So I'm going to speed forward through the process. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and decorate your pages or signature or book for the month. Whatever form of journaling you're doing, whatever device you're using to document your year, to, to journal about your year, go ahead and decorate your pages for August. And we will be back in the next video with something special, I think, that for me says something about our prompt hot and cold something special I think for our pages that I thought of actually just last night so I'll be back with that in the next video we will have a book review of course this week and a couple of other things we'll see what happens and uh, have a great day don't forget to check out the video description uh, if you're not part of the my year 2017 Facebook group and you'd like to be or my other Facebook group, or you want to take a look at my website, send me happy mail, support my channel by putting something in the tip jar, shopping in my Etsy shop, any of those things, they're all in the description. So check out the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.